Hi everyone and welcome back to Wanna League Season 0 from SD League. Today we are with Lathans and Rabbit Squirrel X in Division 1 in the group stages. Today we are watching Rabbit Squirrel on the left playing as the 3rd Armour Division of the Americans and over on the right we are watching Lathans play as the 7th Panzer Division of the East Germans. Both of these players have a YouTube and Twitch channel so Lathans Twitch channel will be linked below as will Rabbit's YouTube channel. Both experienced players from the previous tournaments. May I remind everyone that this tournament is being run through Macharino. I will put the link down below. Anyone can go to the Macharino link, click a couple of buttons down the side for free and add to the prize pool for this tournament. It is currently over $500. So please, please, please do go if you can spare a couple of minutes. Click a couple of buttons down the side and you're just adding to the prize pool for free, not really having to use anything but a couple of minutes of your time. Uh, is greatly appreciated and thank you to everyone who has donated so far so i expect this to be a very interesting game between these two players it will be getting started very shortly they are just still in their setup period and we are off obviously neither player in this match have forward deployment forces so they're both going to be taking a slow trundle to the middle of the map do see an Apache rocket out very early there for Rabbit Squirrel. Obviously, the 3rd Armor Division do have plenty of Apaches to throw about the map. Both players with plenty of anti-air straight away as well. I'm noticing a couple of Cubs down there, Estrella up there, and also various Chaparrales over this side. Plenty of Recon coming in for Rabbit Squirrel. Perhaps not quite as much Recon coming in for Lathans. A couple of MiG-21s in already for Lathans. Anti-air jets. Swinging around and going for that Apache. Certainly looks that way because there's nothing else over there they can attack. These cost 155 points each. Obviously the Apache quite an expensive one as well. Eagle is in to counteract those. Eagle dishing out the damage. One is dead already. Anti-air from the ground. The Chaparral is firing at the other MiG and the other MiG is dead. That's some expensive early losses just to take out that chopper. However, Lathans will probably be pleased with that because that chopper could cause a lot of issues for the front line. Rocket choppers are obviously devastating against infantry. Eagle still flying around the center here, getting a little bit close to the front lines. Not close enough to hit any of the AA though. Cub back here, Strella here, another Cub being called in, which is just called in for the center of the map. And Estrella at the very top there. Good spread of units for both players. We often see people on this map focusing all their forces in the center. But we do see that both players having a good spread up at the top as well. Early battle going on down here. Military police coming in against these Alfclara. Lots of fire going down these Alfclara. They are not going to survive. Advantage there to Rabbit Squirrel. In fact, advantage down here to Rabbit Squirrel as well. He has more units there. There is an Mi-24D coming in for Lathans there does have rockets it has engaged on something but it's i think it's swinging around to try and stop them pushing the top here does look like lathans is already on the back foot very slightly in this area i'm sure he would have liked to keep his little foothold in delta he's got a couple of t-72s at the back of this point now command in straight away in bravo there for rabbit scroll but i'm not sure if that's going to be driving elsewhere no commands in at all for lathans yet he is bringing in some supply trucks though Lathan's pushing some forces up here. F-15C coming in again, going for that Mi-24D. Stunned it, but didn't kill it. It's taking fire from the Cubs in the Strella now. It's taking a hit, and it's dead. That's an expensive loss for not killing that chopper. Apache there as well, being engaged by the Strella. Strella missing a lot. Apache will escape alive. Command now in for Lathans as well. That will neutralize the points once more, but there's a command coming in for Alpha as well for Rabbit Squirrel. In fairness, there is also a command coming in for Lathans for Hotel. Loads of tanks coming in, those T-55A spammy units brought in as well. I see an M1A1 being brought in on the other side for Rabbit Squirrel. But the T-55As have just been devastating so far in this tournament. They are so good since their little buff. I'm expecting adjustments to come for those in the upcoming patches. 
Tanks being pushed up here to try and stave off any more pushing by Rabbit Scroll, but Rabbit Scroll in a very nice position in the centre here. Lathans has managed to hold up here though, and Rabbit Scroll is sort of sat further back. But Rabbit Scroll pushing aggressively through here. If he can move those military police up far enough, he could get some side shots on these tanks. Tanks have managed to clear this building though. It does mean that Lathans has resecured a little foothold there. More recon coming in for Lathans at that side. Over here, we do see some artillery piece coming in there for Rabbit Scroll and a command vehicle. So he's going to put a command in the center. He's in reasonable control of it, so I can think he can get away with it. Not seeing that from Lathans side as yet, but I mean, he's struggling to maintain a grasp on this back point. There's a lot of units in here now from Rabbit Squirrel. Rabbit Squirrel got a very nice push on there. I'm expecting a good fight between these two. As I say, very experienced players from the previous tournaments. Scouts engaging on these. Motuchin here. Tanks being brought along to deal with the scouts. Oh, that's going to be devastating for the poor scouts. Rocket Apache is getting a lot of shots off on those infantry in the building, though. Not fast enough. But this is looking very juicy for Rabbit Squirrel. It's going to take a little bit to dislodge him from this area. Lots of T-55As might do it, though. Some infantry pushing up there as well, along with their support vehicle. More T-55As coming in, unsurprisingly, perhaps. Artillery coming down on this infantry now. Rabbit Scroll definitely wants him out of there. I had a marker go down. Ah, it's a marker from Lathans on the artillery piece. A second artillery piece is now in as well for Rabbit Squirrel. No artillery in for Lathans as yet. Rabbit Squirrel is pushing up on the top point as well now. Trying to dislodge those forces that are there. And I think he's probably going to do it. Yep, the infantry are dead. Conkers fleeing rapidly, but will they get away in time to stop? Nope, they are dead. T-55 is being moved up to try and deal with all of this mess here, but this has been a difficult start for Lathans. Rabbit Squirrel just seems to have the advantage. Command almost in the centre now for Rabbit Squirrel. Still no command in the other side. It would have to be in this corner, I think, for Lathans for it to be safe. But it's still at risk of being seen. And obviously with this artillery, it just takes a couple of shots to take out any command that goes there. Artillery now being used to hit these forward forces here from Lathans. Oh, there's nice shots there. Very nice shots. Lots of damage on those infantry. Lots of additional fire going down on them as well from these units. There's an Abrams pushed all the way up to deal with those tanks as well. Oh, infantry dead. Tanks taking quite a bit of damage. And that Abrams will absolutely mince those tanks. The T-72s are pushing up as well though, which will fare better. But even then, I mean, that Abrams has an advantage. Abrams already ready to fire. Oh, firing at something over there, though. Not at these two tanks. Abrams at half health. These guys are pretty close. Smoke has been popped. Abrams will retreat and repair. Rabbit Skull still holding on to this edge in this corner of that point, though. Military police being moved up to try and provide some fire support against those tanks. Still no command coming in currently. Plus two to Rabbit Skull. Another tank coming in, though. And another tank at the bottom there as well. More infantry being called in in the middle. Lathan's relying heavily on tanks at the moment for doing damage to infantry. Obviously a risky prospect when it comes to fighting against the M67. A couple of BMP1s coming in, though. That tank is almost dead, but those military police obviously taking a lot of fire. Side shot on that tank. Yes, very nice. Took off four pips of health. 
Another shot like that would do a lot of damage, but the military police are being severely punished. They are out of the M67 recallers rifle rounds. They need to get out of there. Marker gone down on this area here. I'm not sure what Lathans is marking there. Supply trucks coming in for Lathans. Oh, Lathans does have an artillery piece in now. What is all of this up here? Ah, it's the UAZ SPG-9s coming in again. We've seen those in a few games recently. Just a huge train of them coming in. 30 points. Obviously, they can do a lot of damage for us. Infantry and also vehicles, they can be very useful. We've seen them a few times just charge through enemy lines, doing as much damage as possible. I expect that's what we're going to see here, something similar. Rabbit Scroll still holding here, but Lafan's obviously pushing quite hard, has brought in a lot of reinforcements, putting a lot of pressure on these forces. Lafan's now in complete control of this point. Still, ah, oh, there is a command coming in. There it is. Pioneer Commander. Command Infantry, a little bit more versatile. Not sure it's going to still fare any better against the artillery, but uh, we will see. Lafan's cycling units in and out as he tries to get them repaired. Abrams here, still on half health, hasn't actually managed to repair. Chaparral there, I think that was trying to fire at the MI-24. It is fired again, it has stunned it, it has done some damage. That MI-24 is trying to retreat and repair. M1A1 coming in here as well now. Tanks and Strella being pulled back, that tank is on one pip of health. At serious risk of getting killed. This one, full health. Here come the SPG-9s. What are they going to do? Let's zoom in and have a look. Currently, they just stopped in the middle of a field. Getting shot at by missiles from over there. Ah, oh, it's the M150 with the tow launcher. Oh, that's a jet gone down there. I don't know whose jet that was. At a wild guess, that was one of Lafan's jets, because I think it was a bomber, because that looks like it was bombed. T-55s and the SPG-9s pushing up hard here. Infantry also being moved up. Lafan's doing an attack all move here. I say he's doing an attack all move. What I actually mean is he's probably managing these much more individually than I would. Look at them go. I mean, the damage output on these things is immense, but obviously they have a lot of damage coming in. The Apache will put down a lot of fire to stun them and do a lot of damage to them with its rockets. The center, obviously, Rabbit Skrill still seemingly more in control in terms of number of units. Maybe this is why this big distraction is going on here for Lafans, trying to force a rethink in the positioning of Rabbit Skrill's forces. This is actually proving reasonably effective. The tank is dead, the uh, M1 that was there. The Apache has taken a lot of fire, but isn't really badly damaged. There's two SPG-9 still alive. I mean, this is a calculated loss by Lathans. He knows he's going to lose a lot when he does this, but he has managed to kill a lot as well. All the infantry's gone. There's a supply truck there, and there's a chopper, and that's all that remains here. Effectively, that was a reasonably good push. Now we can expect to see Rabbit School having to spend a little bit of resources to restack that area with infantry at the very least, I suppose. Possibly bring in another tank. Do you see some Bradley IFVs coming in there? Do you see some of these moving in as well with the ITOs? Phantom coming Phantom Cluster of all things coming in to kill that chopper. Has taken some damage, but will get out alive as the Strella ran... Well, it's not out of missiles, but it must just be out of range. Cub is moving up now, though. Strella is already taking fire from artillery in the meantime. What is going on down here? A push-up by Rabbit Skrull heading towards this command. The command is still currently hidden, shall we say, in a forest. But that wouldn't be hard for Rabbit Skrull to kill. I mean, he could push up all of these infantry, although all the infantry would be at risk from these T-72s and stuff. If they can spot that, some artillery on there would be devastating. Plus to Bomber coming back in again there, going for the T-72. Nice strike. Being engaged by a Cub and the Strella, though. 
However, it has managed to evade. And I think we're kind of in a stalemate position right now in terms of numbers of units on the field. There's not like an overwhelming amount of blue and there's not an overwhelming amount of red. I think the kills to losses are going to be close so far in this game. Currently, Rabbit Squirrel obviously ahead on points would win this game if it ended now, but we've still got 25 minutes to go. Over 25 minutes to be exact. That Cub taking fire again. Very quick response on the artillery front from Rabbit Squirrel in this game. Anytime something fires, the artillery is firing back. Lathans is marking that artillery, but I'm pretty sure that Rabbit Squirrel is moving his artillery around. That said, Lathans' artillery is firing. Is he counter-battering that artillery? As it hasn't actually moved this time. I think, no, those shots are going down there on the eye toe. Pretty accurate artillery, actually. My two coming in there, recon. A cub being brought in again there as well. Oh, look. Recon vehicle being pushed up here, engaging on that tank. Can that recon vehicle see that commander yet? There is the real question. And my 24 coming in there. There isn't actually any AA here. So that's a good place to bring in a chopper. He's engaging on the front line. He could do with killing the recon there. Just to reduce the chance of his commander being seen if it hasn't been seen already. A little bit of movement here again from Lathans. He's moving up all of his infantry with some support from those transport vehicles. There's an M1 sat there though. Which will provide good fire support and artillery coming in on those units already. Very quick response as I say from Rabbit Scroll and his artillery this game. Lafans in a much more forward position up here, but with very little, I think he's going to get pushed out of there. That Bradley will be at risk from these Motsuchin, though, because they do have the RPG. RPG will do a lot of damage if he gets close. Tanks being pushed up here. Already badly damaged that one. Who's going to win out in this little fight here? Ooh, that was very lucky. Popped smoke again. Mech rifles engaging on this. And the tow launcher engaging on it. Smoke has dropped. Lathan's having to cycle those tanks in and out a lot. Here's the chopper coming in to try and do some damage with his rockets. Should be able to get the kill, surely. That actually has a hell of a lot of health, doesn't it? It's routed. It is taking a lot of fire from those rockets. Up at the top here, we do see Rabbit Squirrel being a little bit more aggressive, pushing up here. Trying to clear out these forward units. Tanks being moved back in by Lathans up there. Here in the centre, we do see lots of infantry sort of getting pummeled by the artillery still. I was about to say that they are still trying to push, but no, no, he's having to pull those back as well. Rabbit Squirrel moving his artillery once more. Counter battery fire coming in on those artillery, funnily enough. Hopefully he's moved them far enough away. This one at the biggest risk because it moved to near where the other one was. They seem okay at the moment. Yeah, cohesion is still high. They're not being scared by that artillery at all. That Bradley did die very quickly up there. The Motsuchin are engaging on this dragon team here. Motsuchin being supported by fire from the tanks, but the Special Av Clara there taking a lot of fire from stuff on the road, including the Bradley. It's a, no, no, I tell a lie. The Bradley isn't actually firing. I hear more chopper fire down here at the bottom. Another one of the M150s getting pummeled by that chopper. Now, that's interesting. A little bit dislodged here now in terms of Rabbit Squirrel's forces. The M150 getting some shots off from the side there at those vehicles. Missed that. And my 24 is moving up to try and engage it with its gun. Obviously getting shot at by the Apache now as well. Stunned, taking a lot of fire. The M150 launches another missile. Missed its target though. Strella is being moved up to try and deal with that Apache. 
Lathans has lost his chopper. Apache there. How is that Strela not seeing that Apache? Oh, Apache is low, actually, behind the trees. That's why it can't see it. M150. Still missing that SPW70. Another anti-tank chopper here engaging on that Abrams. Stunning it down with the rockets. Oh, and it is dead from the tank fire. Rabbit Squirrel still pushing slowly here. Not really a lot of movement at this point. Lathan's still trying to get those infantry forces pushed up. Lathan's doing a heavy push here though, moving up all of his infantry, all of his tanks. Trying to force back what Rabbit Squirrel has there. Cluster coming in to hit that area though. This could be a nice strike for that cluster. Did it drop? I don't think that cluster even dropped its load. Artillery dropping on that Strela, but I don't think that cluster bo bomber dropped anything. Unless it was being brought in to kill the chopper and just didn't go for it in the end. Lathan's doing a hard push here, right up to the edge of this forest. Is he going to keep going beyond it? He might. T-72 engaging on that. It is dead. I think Lathans is going to push across this area, you know? I think he's going for the other side. M1A1 coming in to try and support. This M1A1 shooting down from the side there. That is a badly damaged T-72. It is dead. Abrams has done his job. Very nasty getting cross-fired from that side. You're getting shot in the side armor. Other Abrams has been moved down to assist in that counter-attack. Still an ongoing battle for this area here, but I'm pretty sure that Rabbit Squirrel now has overwhelming forces there. Artillery coming down on this artillery, but once again, Rabbit Squirrel has moved in time. I see more markers going down. There are two command vehicles in Delta now. Two anti-air jets coming in there. One has died. The other one is probably going to die as well. Yeah, dead to the eagle. Lots of markers going down in the center here by Lafans. Is he marking the tanks? Is he marking some? I'm not sure. So Lafans has gained some ground there, but at the expense of quite a few unit losses. Obviously, Rabbit Squirrel has lost quite a few units as well. As I say, I think the kills to losses in this game are going to be tight. I just noticed there are some mortars in play from Lathan's side now. Some of this artillery did get damaged in the end. That one is marked as repairing, but they are both getting resupplied. That artillery has proved very useful for Rabbit Squirrel. He's done a really good job with it this game. Mortars here more just a bit of harassment than anything else. Once again, Rabbit Squirrel seizing this position here, getting plenty of fire down on Lathan's forces. I think we could see Rabbit do a push here again. He is moving up some forces there, trying to go after these special Alfclara, I'm sure. That T-72, though, causing a problem. Possible that that Bradley can get some TOW-2 launches off on that tank, though. It is moving up to kind of look as if it's going to do that. It is well within missile range there. I'm not sure why it's not firing. It doesn't have a line of sight on that tank. Interesting. Marker gone down again on the artillery pieces over here. But at the moment, the artillery from Lathan's side hitting down here. He has brought in three artillery pieces now, though. Flame tanks coming in for Lathan's, possibly intending to do a push into this forest area here. More T-72s coming in as well. Some infantry there. 
at the other side. More mech rifles coming in. Some Bradleys with Fireteam Dragons coming in as well. It's really difficult to say who has the real upper hand right now. I feel it's very tight. The only thing I can say for definite is that Rabbit Squirrel is ahead in points. And if the game keeps going like this, he's going to win by default on points. Just under 16 minutes left in this match. And it's just a really constant battle everywhere on the map. And I almost feel as if the quietest area has actually been golf, a part of golf. Particularly down here, has probably seen the least combat. He has been a constant stream of artillery and random units from both sides attacking each other. This has been very quiet. This has been fought over a few times, but there's been a lot of action at the top of the map. And that's not something we see in many games on this map, to be honest. There's been a lot of action up here. Interesting, these flame tanks pushing across the center. I did not expect that. I genuinely thought they were possibly going to come down towards the bottom, but they are all pushing this way. This is a heavy tank push. Lathans is going for his Blitzkrieg with the tanks again. A very That's what it looks like, at least. Let's see if that's how it pans out. It paid off in the previous game that he played against Toff. Can he do the same here? Artillery coming down on that command vehicle in that corner. Obviously, there's still one over there. It's good if you have the spare points to bring an extra one in just to maintain control. Here come the tanks. That is a lot of tanks. I'm expecting to see cluster bombers from the other side. I'm waiting for the cluster bombers or something to come in and deal with this tank horde. I mean, he's pushing up fast here. This is a lot of tanks. There's another two T-72s. No, four T-72s sat back here. There's the cluster. I knew it was going to be coming. Oh, I think he only killed one tank, though. Let's zoom in for a quick look. Possibly two. I think he possibly got two tanks there. T-55 flame tanks. Lots of infantry here pushing up mech rifles. They do have those Dragon 2 launchers. That M1 Abrams being pulled back there. Lathan's pushing infantry here up as a distraction. Make it look like he's pushing everywhere. Tanks mainly pushing here. These tanks now on the move as well. Lathan's possibly using the cheaper tanks first. Before moving up the T-72Ms and M1s in hope that, you know, the cheaper tanks take the brunt of the attack from any cluster bombers, which has probably happened now. So the bigger tanks coming in. There is a T-72 up there, though. More mortars coming in there. Conkers, Motsuchin. Apache has been brought in here. Obviously, got Hellfires. Will be very effective against the tanks. And there's a command in. Command is in the point for Lathans now. Plus two to Lathans. Just over 12 minutes left in the game. Lathans has a foothold in that point. Tank's still pushing up here. He's got a lot of infantry in here. He just wants to protect that command. I'm expecting this artillery to start pummeling that corner. Bradley's managed to take out a vehicle there. Motsuchin spreading out. That artillery is firing. Let's see where these shots land. He won't know exactly where that command is. I expect he's going to hit the very corner initially. Yeah, very corner, but he will be putting pressure on that command. Yes, indeed. Lathan's moving it over a bit. How much damage have these taken? Actually, they're not too bad. He's got his foothold. He's got the points he needs. He just needs to hold this for the next 10 minutes and he will win. As he will overtake in points. The potential for him to be still more aggressive. Obviously everything has stalled up here. Attention refocused on the center. This heavy tank push. The Blitzkrieg maneuver. Not exactly pushed through the enemy lines completely this time. But has done a lot of damage. The sheer amount of firepower from all those tanks. 
Is this going to be smoke? Yeah, smoke coming in now from our fans. Smothering his forces and his commander in smoke to make it really difficult. Artillery coming down in the center there now. Rabbit Squirrel desperately moving units up to try and find that command. That command sitting in the smoke though. Motsuchin will meet the military police. Motsuchin will take fire from the Abrams probably once it's seen. Cluster Bomber coming in again. Swinging around the back there. Taking fire from the Cub. And the Shilka, and it is dead. It didn't even drop its bombs. Not sure what it was targeted at that time. Conker's getting shots off on those Abrams. Taking fire back themselves, though, from the three Abrams that are here. There are four Abrams, sorry, now. One Abrams dead. The other two slightly damaged. The one down here is A-OK. -okay. Military police chasing after that commander. That commander is running. More smoke coming down. That commander's been engaged. Commander's going to take damage from the tanks as well. Yes, it is. Oh, tanks are taking fire now. Both smoked. Can no longer fire at the commander. No, he's moving them up. He's going after that command. Commander is taking lots of fire from those tanks. Commander is dead. Abrams taking fire from the anti-tank jet. Anti-tank jet is dead. But Lathans will be happy and Abrams is down. Calculated risk, I imagine. Smoke still coming down on that area. But that is the command gone. Rabbit Squirrel still ahead, but no longer 200 points ahead, so that means he cannot win as it stands. I'm waiting to see someone else bring in a command here. Someone has to bring in a command to push the points over the edge. A lot of forces still here for Lafans and more arriving, certainly outnumbering what's in this side of the point for Rabbit Squirrel. Can Lafans kill both the commands in this point? That is the new question. Or can Rabbit Squirrel manage to push all of these forces up and dislodge Lafans from the point completely? Pioneer Commander already in. I didn't even see it trundling along the roads. So that is another Commander in for Lafans. Going to go into this top corner, I imagine. Needs to be careful, though. There is a Dragon Team there. More tanks coming in at the back for Lafans. Itos coming in, engineers, Itos. I feel like both players must be hurting for infantry now. Loads of fine team dragons pushing up into this corner. And one Abrams pushing up this way. That fire team dragon is dead now on the mech rifles, whatever it was. Command being moved into this corner, but once again, we're going to see an immediate response from the artillery, I'm sure. But Rabbit Squirrel needs to do some serious damage here. He needs to kill this command in this point at the back. Smoke going down on this corner. Artillery coming in on that corner already. Preemptively almost. Managed to stun some of this infantry. Fire Team Dragon taking a lot of fire from these tanks. Both tanks badly damaged though. Abrams has been pulled back. Another Abrams pushing in. Going after these infantry here. More tanks moving in here, taking out the fire team dragon that's trying to run across the field. I mean, this is just constant action this game. There is a constant battle across the entire map. You've got to admire these two players for being able to keep up the pressure everywhere. And it's constant. It's not like it's one of them keeping up the pressure. They're both being so aggressive to maintain the foothold. Currently, plus two to Lathan still. He's at 358 points. There is no automatic win for either player here. This is either a draw. Or one of them has to push ahead. With six minutes left, it's possible Lafans can push ahead. But equally, it's possible that Rabbit Squirrel can kill the command here. And then kill the command in this back point. Or indeed, get his own commander in here. He does have two sat in this point. One could move up any time.
Thanks pushing up here, trying desperately to hold back this horde of infantry that Rabbit Scroll keeps pushing up. Look at all these Itos moving up down here now. Anything to deal with all of these tanks. Conkers there getting attacked by the Abrams. It will return fire. Surely the Abrams will smoke. It's taken a hit. Four points of damage. Command out this top corner again. Artillery once again coming in from Rabbit Squirrel. Loads of smoke coming down from Lafans. <laughs> Take musical chairs with this commander. In and out, in and out. Another command being brought in by Lafans. Oh, is he going to do the double command in? One in at one bit and then one brought in another area to really distract from the fact that he's brought one in at one corner. Push going on here from Rabbit Squirrel. He needs to push Lathans out of this point completely. Five minutes left of this game. Another jet loss there. Push going on by Lathans here with all of his tanks. A push going on up here by Rabbit Squirrel with a mixture of everything. That looks like another loss of a vehicle in the middle there. Was that another tank dead? I believe it was. Oh no, it's a helicopter. My bad. It was a helicopter. I was expecting it to be another Abrams pushing up. Lots of units pushing up here as well now. Moving in front of this smoke. Command back in this corner. Another command is on its way for Lathans. They are now drawn on points. Four minutes for Lathans to get 200 points ahead. Shilka coming in to deal with this Apache. Four minutes left. This is a really tight game. And I would expect nothing less from these two players. I mean, this has been a battle and a half. Loads of MiGs coming in here. Rocket attack MiGs. Just loads of them. Attacking a bit of everything. F-15 Eagles in though. Doing a lot of damage. And yeah, taking out most of these MiGs. I mean... MiGs now trying to engage on the F-15Cs. Oh, another MiG down. This one's probably going to die as well. I mean, this is just all units all in right now. There's even a bit of movement up here from Lathans as well. Lathans pushing really aggressively here. He is pushing 100 points ahead with three minutes left of this game. Look at him go. Look at him go. And equally, look at Rabbit Squirrel go. But I, I think Lathans might just edge it out here. He needs another 100 points for this to be a points victory, I believe. He needs 200 points above and beyond that of what Rabbit Squirrel has. More T-55As coming in now. I honestly thought Lathans would have been out of those by now. Look, there's even, even munitions vehicles, the supply trucks being sent forward. Aha! Spare Command is now in the point. Just to add to the confusion. Are these two out of munitions? Yes, they are. Artillery pieces have no firepower left. T-72 is being pushed up this way as well now. And with two minutes left, the game will go to Lathans. Unless those two M1 HAs can push up and kill all these commands... I think Lathans has won this game. He is now the magical 200 points ahead. With just under two minutes left to go. And what a game, guys. What a fantastic game from you both. Cannot fault either of you here. I would have been very happy with a win from either player in this match. They have both played exceptionally well. Lathans tank blitzkrieg at the end there, though. Just... Edged him into this point, but I tell you what, Rabid Squirrel stopped it. He did stop it going any further.
It wasn't as effective as we've seen it being in the past. So Rabbit Squirrel gets all the congratulations for managing to stop that tank push. But it was enough to secure that corner of the point. And no matter what these Abrams do now, with under a minute left, and an anti-tank chopper coming in beside them, I just don't think they can do it. The command infantry is actually dead. It's just this command that remains in the point. Private Skrull moving everything up now. But the win will go to Lathans. Really enjoyable game, guys. Rabbit Squirrel fighting till the bitter end. Really wants to kill that command. The command is dead. Back to neutralised. Anti-tank jet taking out... Or trying to take out Abrams. Misses. Is taking a lot of fire and is dead. In the closing moments of the game. Wow. Wow. Once again, this is one of those games where we have seen the opposite of the standard. Kills to losses were in favour of the loser here. A minor defeat for Rabbit Squirrel, but 9,860 points in kills compared to Lathan's 8,255. We've seen that topsy turvy thing again, but what a game, guys. Absolutely fantastic. I consider that tight on kills to losses both exceptional players played so so well let's have a quick look at the kills and losses on those units mi24 did well the conkers were doing well the tanks obviously excelling as always though t72 is doing a great job t55 flame tank doing a good job t72 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 <laughs> more t72 is just getting all the kills there over on the other side for Rabbit Squirrel, the military police, the Abrams, obviously. The M109 got plenty of kills. That Apache, look at all those SPG9 UAZs it killed. And again, the Abrams just doing an exceptional job. Rocket attack Apache. Abrams, Chaparral getting a few kills. The Eagle did pretty good too. Abrams once more. Bradley's dealing a few kills, but not a lot. Apache doing a great job. Abrams and Abrams. Obviously, tanks are king at getting kills quite often in these games. But wow, what a game, guys. Absolutely fantastic. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in. Please do stay tuned to the channel for the second game in this matchup between these two fantastic players. Please do, as I say, check out their links down below in the description. And please do, if you can, spare a few minutes go and add for free to the prize pool it's currently over five hundred dollars and encourages more people to join these tournaments and obviously rewards the players for their hard work and dedication to get to the skill level they have they put in many many hours into this game to be able to maintain this level of gameplay to keep you entertained thanks for watching everyone please do like share and subscribe and i'll see you all soon for some more warner